The most common kind of 3D printing is called FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling. That is where each layer of plastic is melted in thin slices that are stacked vertically. But therein lies a problem. When your model has sharp curves or rounded surfaces, a very noticeable stair stepping occurs. One solution would be to print very small layer heights, but this will significantly increase the printing time. And longer print times can be more likely to have printing problems like warping or filament jams. Another option would be to print with the plastic known as ABS. This plastic has a unique property of melting when around acetone vapors. Some problems with this technique are that vapors need to be heated, they are also toxic and flammable, and finding the perfect amount of vapor to timing can be very tricky and can produce a melted look. ABS is also notorious for shrinking when cooled, which results in the bottom warping and peeling off the print bed. The safer and more common filament is known as PLA. It's derived from sugarcane, it's biodegradable, produces less toxic fumes, and doesn't shrink as much, which results in less warping. There are many benefits to PLA, but the one downside is there isn't an easily accessible chemical to melt or smooth it the same way as acetone does to ABS. I started testing a theory of mine to smooth PLA, or any filament really, and I would like to share my results with you. To remove the stair-stepping edges, I used a mixture of any color spray paint that bonds well to plastic, and fast-drying polyurethane. I start by spraying a slightly more than normal layer of spray paint, and then quickly spray a layer of fast-drying polyurethane. Then I immediately place the model under a fan to speed up the drying time, and prevent the mixture from running. So what is happening is the paint and polyurethane will combine, and thicken, then harden under the fan, and fill in the layered gaps. For best results, I do this in several thin layers, wait about 20 minutes for each layer to dry, then I wait a full day before adding the final coat of spray paint to cover up any discoloration. Remember to remove any sources of cat hair which could stick to the paint and ruin the smooth look. So the benefits of using this method are that the end result is smoothed without any harsh chemicals or sanding. You can print in whatever filament color you have and then paint the final model. You can print in larger layer heights to decrease the printing time, and it can fill in small holes or cover up printing flaws. I hope you found this helpful, or at least interesting. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.